in this video, I'll be reviewing the lens that I got only for about $120 Brunei. The Mikey 35mm f1.7 manual lens. I'm really excited to try out this lens because of its aperture f1.7 and for its price, it's really good. The lens does come in a small box, well packaged from Mikey. Inside the box, we have a manual, mostly in Chinese, and we also have a cleaning cloth to clean the lens, and also a little carrying bag, which is nice for them to provide, although I won't be using it as much. And finally, we have the lens itself. So first impressions, the lens is really small and it's very compact and it has a decent weight to it. Surprisingly coming at $120 Brunei, it really feels high quality. For the price, it's pretty good. The focus ring on this lens is really smooth as well as the aperturing which makes it easier to use and enjoyable as well. One thing I noticed about the focus ring is the range. For me to turn it from end to end, it's really far, about half of the lens. For some people, it may be a downside, but for me at least, it helps me focus easier and focus precisely. Personally, I enjoy using manual lenses. It's really fun and I encourage people to try it out if they haven't tried. It costs way less than an autofocus lens which is about $500. The lens cap is made out of metal. There is a Mikey logo printed on top of it. It fits in perfectly on the lens and it doesn't fall off. This is me just nitpicking but the lens does extend when you focus. Maybe for some people it's not a big deal but that's just something to note. I've been using this lens on my Fujifilm X-T20 and it's been great. I really like the pictures that come out of this lens. Having that low aperture gives you that nice bokeh and it's not bad. The bokeh is really creamy. At f1.7, it's not the sharpest lens but you can stop down to f2 to get that sharpness back. lens does have chromatic aberration by just a little bit when you point it at the sun but that doesn't really matter to me it does have lens flare but i don't see it as a problem i find it beautiful and artistic although this is subjective and people can have their own opinions. I shoot mostly street photography and this 35mm is the perfect focal length for that and it's been on my camera ever since. If you're looking for a manual budget lens that is affordable and very small and easy for travel, I really suggest this lens.
that's it for my review. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Leave a comment down below of what you think about the lens and I'll see you guys in the next video.